Hey everyone, I'm going to review what Nina Montaigne eats in a day. Low FODMAP as a vegan. <laughs> Way too much. Okay, you starve yourself. Nothing new. Thinking. And... I don't know what that is. I'm assuming some kind of tea. She will probably say it. High in vitamin A, C, and K. A. Where is the animal fat? Because it should be in saturated animal fat. That's how it would look like. It's not water soluble. So where is it? <laughs> what an absolute joke. Vitamin C, I would agree if it wasn't uh, boiled, if it wasn't warm, which it looked like. So there's no vitamin C left and K also, K1. B vitamins destroyed because of the boiling. Heat destroys water soluble vitamins. It's pointless. Iron and calcium, it has anti-nutrients that uh, don't let you absorb any minerals. I just came back from the gym and I'm just drinking my nettles. I steep my nettles overnight oh, and I on. have this almost every morning. It's a really nice ritual. It's like having a multivitamin. I love it. <laughs> anyway, today's going to be a little bit uh, If only you knew. Because I'm on a low FODMAP diet. <laughs> So if you recall from last week's video on digestion, I was giving you tips on knowing what works for you and what doesn't, and I guess I should take my own advice and- Stop being vegan. Ain't working for me. <laughs> Ever since coming to Sydney, something has really been setting my digestion off every now and again, and um, I feel like in the past few weeks, it's, it's gotten a little bit worse. Um, so yeah, your girl's on a- on a low FODMAP diet and um, you... Very typical to start a low FODMAP diet when you have digestive issues. The problem here is that she doesn't realize that she should eat meat, our natural diet. It doesn't give you any digestive issues. I will never have to go on a low FODMAP diet. <laughs> never, because I eat raw meat, it's perfectly digested and I will never have any digestive issues. No bloating or anything, just nothing. It's perfect. Try it. <laughs> you better believe that I'm complaining to everyone. I can't have avocado. I can't have sweet potato, onion, garlic, mushroom. I mean, you know how much onion and garlic I use in everything. Hmm. And then you like, wonder why you have problems. It's so weird to You're me. You're literally taking antibiotics when you eat garlic. Onion and garlic. Oh. It's just like, wow, this is a different way of living. Crazy anyway, girl. <laughs> we're going to try and focus on what we can have. And I want to show you that it is possible to be vegan and do low FODMAP. It's not possible so, yeah, to be vegan in general. You just admitted it. You just don't get it. The ass, I'm just going to be honest. Yeah, the bloat has gone down significantly, which is great. I love waking up not being bloated. That's not anyway, normal. enough chit chat. Let's get on to food. Yay. Very simple food. Simple, simple. I couldn't find you. But then I found you. Go on, friend. Oh, you're so beautiful. I love just you. Just spiral thinking. It's gonna come around. Oh, bye. <laughs> the papaya seeds because they anti-parasitic. They simply kill everything. Those are toxins. Wow, it's the same with garlic. Any cell that is touched by garlic dies right away. Anything that is alive, that is touched by papaya seeds, the inside, dies. That's why it's bitter. Hello, you don't listen to your body whatsoever. It's clear that you have problems with your digestion because of veganism and you don't get it. When you eat papaya seeds and they taste terrible, then you also don't get that you're destroying yourself. <laughs> Must be super nourishing. Water with sugar. So I always love some fiber, some papaya, or some sort of fruit before <laughs> having breakfast. Um, papayas are so good right now in Australia. Ooh, they're so sweet. This one tastes like brown sugar. Yay. So good. Mmm, 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 mmm. It is just so beautiful. Look how gorgeous that is. Oh, I love tea. <laughs> if anything, it reminds you of blood. That's about the only reason your senses tell you that it looks good. Thanks 
Holy, thank the high heavens that oats are, at least seal cut oats are low FODMAP. So I've been having Yay. those every morning. Almond milk. Oh, that creaminess. You want cream? Okay, nothing new. All vegans do. Seeds on top. Gonna put some almond butter. Oh man. All of you eat the same. And there we have it. It's not really very easy if you gotta cook and prepare your food. It would be easy to simply take some meat and eat it. Yeah, raw meat, you can eat it, uh-huh, yeah. There's anti-nutrients, lectins, the blueberries are pretty much pure sugar. She probably believes that there's some antioxidants, which are actually just toxins. Almond butter is pretty much just lectin sludge. She's trying to heal her digestion, but doesn't even research anti-nutrients. That's what will mess her up. And of course, lots of cinnamon. That's toxic. Ooh. Try to eat more of it. You will cough and throw up. Easy. That looks toxic because of the carcinogens alone. It's way overcooked. So I got my bowl and how I usually do this is that I just get some greens, I get my dressing, and I just kind of like mix all that yeah, together. Yeah, of course, because you won't eat the Make leaves sure alone, it's all right? all nicely covered. <laughs> my cooked components. You literally look at the green leaves, you don't know why you're eating them except that some vegan doctors said that they're healthy, and of course most doctors are brainwashed to believe that and then you smear it with this sauce, which of course resembles animal fat. That's all that you want in the end, but you're not listening to your body. And then pour over some burnt dark potatoes. And tomato. This has all been measured out. Yeah. Um, and yeah, what I love the most about this salad is the pumpkin. So if you've never had pumpkin in your salad, I definitely recommend roasting no, pumpkin thanks. and then I don't mixing eat it through. At all. It's so good because it kind of like disintegrates and makes the whole thing like really sweet and creamy. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Watch out with the lentils. That's already too many. Some coconut cream, some nice and creamy. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna put this in a container. Looks disgusting. Leaf. Really. Oh, why would you eat that? And then later when it's cold. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no. No, no, no. Looks like puke. Literally, somebody okay. could. Yeah, it looks like puke. Exactly. <laughs> What's the food that doesn't have any anti nutrients, toxins that will cause digestive issues? That doesn't have fiber and is digested? Meat. Mm hmm. Egg yolks, also, of course. And uh, dairy depends, but meat is always the solution for everybody just because it's our natural diet. And of course, if you cook it and it's all dry and stuff, then you will also get problems. And this is why when vegans want to start eating meat again, they don't really also want to at the same time because they think about the cooked meat and of course it's not very appetizing and they think about it being dry and not as well digested if you cook it well done, which most people do, but if you start eating raw meat, it's a whole different story, it digests perfectly. All of the problems that people have with meat usually are because it's overspiced or overcooked and the spices cause problems such as garlic powder, like she said herself, and really any of those herbs and all of that crap. The only reason people tolerate it is because they use small quantities, that's it. If you use even a little bit too much, you will right away get stomach pains. Also, she didn't get over 50 nutrients on this super restricted, low FODMAP vegan diet, what a joke. Yeah, no vegan diet has it because plants don't have those nutrients. It's malnutrition. Thanks for watching.